Hello everyone and today we have a little bit of a special video. I've got I've got Kermit here with me and we're going to be taking a look at Dom Cook's video. He's asked who we should who we should be working on. So let's get straight into it and take a cheeky look. So he's done this video he's done this video here. I've just pulled out my headphones. I'm an idiot. He's done this um video here and he showed his team very very briefly here and you can see that he's got ducky mode 109 god tier you can also see that he's got um period of platypus to level 109 so the two main characters i tend to focus on he's done so what he wants to see is who else he should be getting up to level 100 and you can see that he's done very very well getting most of his characters up to level 100 here so he's already kind of prioritizing on a bigger shell than myself which is brilliant so let's take a look and see so i am actually going to recommend this is my recommendation for you dom cook it is to get claw hauser up to level 100 that's my next target for you work on claw hauser he is a phenomenal character and you are not going to want to but he's just such a good character claw hauser so get claw hauser upgraded you will not regret it so let's get into today's video guys and see what we've got to look forward to so the badge bit contest is coming to an end we've done very very well on this contest i'm gonna have to add very very well the docks um i'm doing it on the hardest mode now free start it very very easily but if you upgrade um claw hauser dom you're going to be able to use him in a lot of awesome modes and that's kind of one of my biggest takes. Of course, Patch is a good character as well, but I've always, always had a special place for Clawhauser in this game. So Dom, my recommendation for you is Clawhauser. Now we get into today's video and I wanted to have a look. Obviously the prize war's been going on. Um, I haven't, I've actually not been, oh, I was about to say I've not been very lucky on this one. I'm not hugely fussed about where I get to on this one. Because as you know, I've already got Rapunzel leveled up. So I'm quite happy with the position I'm in with Rapunzel, to be honest with you. But, you know, getting a few of her extra shards to throw away. Plus, I do want to level up since she's been buffed. Because she's pretty ridiculous now. So just grabbing a few extra shards isn't the end of the world. And I've seen quite a lot of people use Rapunzel before she got reworked. So she's certainly a character who shouldn't be slept on. But, um, yeah. So if I go into the arena here it's always a good way to kind of see and i've explained it to you before what characters you should be working on so who is doing well and i wonder if anyone is using rapunzel in the ranking so if i go into um total power arena and we look at the top minus it has zoomed out a little bit but you know you can you can still work out what's going on hades is in that one and that guy's in first um so that's not bad we've got hades again there so you, we can start to piece together Meg. So we've got Meg, 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 Meg. Meg, Meg, Meg. Meg, Meg, Meg. So every single one of these big teams have all got Meg in. So that should be a priority. And then we also have Joy, 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 Joy. So Joy should probably be a cat everyone works on because everybody prioritizes them. Prior prioritizes them. And then we've also got a lot of um mad hatter which is again quite good i wonder what he's got um so you can see in the arenas we've got joy mad hatter meg they are the three that seem very very common and i'd probably recommend if you were to push those would be three fantastic characters to work on maybe i should work on joy then maybe i should stop looking at rapunzel and focus on joy a little bit so i wanted to spend this video on kind of reviewing joy and seeing why she's so widely used in arena and i was looking at some tier lists as well and joy's always at the top so what is it about joy which obviously has everybody excited so i should have quite hopefully i've got a few shards for it. I have 500 yet which is lovely so if we jump in and take a look at her skills let's work out why joy is so widely used in arena and why I'm going to work on her next as my medic. So she actually looks awesome. I mean, I I guess that's one reason. She's pretty cool. She looks awesome. She's a pretty good character. So let's take a look and see why she is so widely used. So just quickly, I want to ask all of you to drop a comment down below and let me know if you use Joy. And if you do, make sure you smash the like and subscribe button. And yeah, let me know what you think. So with Joy here, we've got Happy Go Lucky and this is her main move. So this is her active skill. So what it's doing is giving Can Hill at least one ally, 
Skill power has increased. So skill power being increased is phenomenal. So passive. Joy gains skill power for every stack of happiness. So she brings happiness. That's like a limit, like a limited move. But she that she has. Joy can have a maximum of 10 stacks of happiness. So that's gonna do ridiculous. Active. Joy heals her team for X amount of HP and gains three stacks of happiness. So she does heal the entire team, makes her a very good healer, and clearly very good because she's used in every single of the top arena teams. So I'm definitely missing something by not working on Joy. So that's a pretty good move. Then we've got Joy jumps in excitement, gaining two stacks of happiness and energy. So what that means there is that we are going to be able to gain more happiness. Then she's going to be able to heal quicker because she's getting her energy up. And the more happiness she has, the more skill power she has, which means the more healing she's going to do. So we have quite a big push of stats and bits and pieces going on there so that's a very very good move and again you can see here get grants herself energy which is very very good now we've got joy bubble can shield at least one ally joy removes a stack of happiness from herself when an ally has less than 50 percent of their max hp applying a shield to them that has x amount of hp and lasts 10 seconds joy can shield any ally once every five seconds Every five seconds, allies getting shielded when they lower by 50%, which is phenomenal again, because we're going to be able to see a lot of shielding and keeping the team alive. So Joy really does what she's meant to do very, very well. And that's the healing again. That's why, I mean, that's why she's widely used in the top 10 arena teams. She's in all of them. So again, that has to speak some sort of volumes to how good of a catch she is. So I'm going to focus on this week on working on Joy, leveling her up and trying out all these modes to see. But Dom, I'd also pass this over to you. And I think that you should be working on Joy with me. And let's get her up to a brilliant level. Everybody watching and get her in your arena team. It's clear that she is the queen of arena for, you know, facts. You've seen it. I've just shown you the top 10 people use her. Then we've got Joy's allies receive 438 variety per stack of happiness. Reality is in so that's pretty good again for example if you had that of clawhauser his donut move would be out of this world but yeah that's a pretty good one um i think what we uh if i go into skill tags so yeah she's getting she's doing reality up which is very very nice so that's that is pretty decent that she is buffing up reality and then you can see why this do as well so i i was there was a break i can't remember how to get to it but there was a way to find a breakdown of every single... Ah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So we've got stats here. So for anyone who doesn't know or isn't familiar with what a stat's doing, you can click detailed stats and you click the eye next to Joy or, or any character. And then you can scroll through and see. So for example, what does reality do? Here we go. Reality works just like armor against fantastic damage. So when she increases their reality, it means their fantastic damage isn't doing as much damage. So... You know, you can get in here and start to take a really deep dive at what all of these little moves are doing and what they're working on and how they how they work. So I recommend you do that to just refresh your knowledge. I still do it from, from time to time. So there we go. So now let's get back into her last skill, which is Radiant. So we've looked at that one. She's going to give everyone reality, which is very good. And then we go into Joy and her allies can't have their buffs removed or stolen by enemies for the first seven seconds of each wave. Now that's very good actually, and that's probably why she's so widely used in Arena, because there's no cap to that. So that isn't like she has to be on X amount of level, that's just activate the red skill and then that activates. When Joy or her allies are healed above their max HP, 40% of that extra HP is converted into max HP. So if you put Joy on with Ariel, that would be ridiculous. Because it says when Joy, or it doesn't say when Joy heals her allies, it's when Joy or her allies are healed above their max HP. 40% of that is converted into extra max HP. Then Ariel's making a shield, then Joy's making a shield. So what we've got here is actually a really good shield team. So maybe if I even if I pop Slinky on as the tank, we'd have Joy, Ariel, and Slinky all forming this huge wave of shields. And like our Bolt and Zeus in, or something like that to make a really cool arena team. But I just wanted to cover Joy in this video and kind of break her down a little bit now i am going to work on her so let, let's get her up to the max level here 199 levels hey i don't use any of my um extra little ones at the moment i still got 
a lot in the chamber, which is lovely. Let's see how far I can power promote her at the moment. 18 levels, let's go. I think that uses a few stamina potions, but let's do it. So that gets her up to red one, which means I can activate her red. Obviously, she's not going to be good enough to be used in like arena yet. But what that does mean is I can jump in and get her red skill activated at least once for now. There we go. So just to get her red skill activated and I'll leave it like that because I can get a red skill up to quite to level 26. But each time I upgrade it, it's normally nice to see what it's actually, I didn't mean to do that, what it's actually improving. So in this one, what it's going to do is the max HP has a chance to fail on allies above X amount of level. So that means that this move here has got a chance to work because what I'm not ever going to be able to do is bring her red move up to like level 300. But I'm not hugely fussed about that because it has a chance to fail. So it just means that you're not guaranteed to get it. I'm not particularly fussed about that. I do like that move, but getting her red skill to maintain it is very, very difficult. So I'm going to have to kind of just pop that on the side for now. So the one thing I haven't done is looked at her friendship discs. Now, again, if I go back into the rankings here, I'll just show you again, this is what I use for a lot. We can see, I want to see what um, friendship disc people use, and that's OI. OI. So again, OI. So I always I always do the top five and the final medium. OI. 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 So there isn't a medium, it's just it's just a flush. Everyone's done the same thing, OI. And then what we've got here is a skill power, a skill power, a basic, and an armor. I've got here. Skill power, skill power, skill power. I'm not sure what that one's plus things. I can't actually see it. Um, again here. Skill power, skill power, basic, basic. So these are kind of, I guess, more down to your play style. Skill power, skill power, skill power. Skill power, skill power, a couple of skill powers in there. Again, I can't work out. It's just the um, DPI on, on blue stacks here. Skill power, skill power, skill power. So I'll probably do four skill powers on her as well then. Just because it makes sense to follow the top player. Because obviously he knows what's going on. So what I will probably do is put four skill power mods on Joy. Um, I can't work out from the picture what buffs they're using on that. But if I go into her mods, um, I'll, just, I'll just do recommended for now. Um, I should have a few spare ones in here as well. So if I go into skill power, let's have a look. Yeah. One, two, I've got four. Lovely. So that means I can do that build on her and get her ready to go, basically, which is good. So they were all using the OI disc. So let's take a look at the disc around the video app. So this one here. And this is so this is the one they weren't using. When any attempts to disable one of Joy's allies, she blocks with disable, remove a stack of happiness. And here, mm, yes, yeah, getting rid of happiness. Oh, yeah, that's not great. That's a bit lame, actually. So and if we go to uh, this one, which everybody's using with good old Olaf, should be able to get through this one quite easily as well. So let's just um, dot the mission on here so I can start getting some shards. There we go. So that's going. Did that go in? Sometimes it glitched. Yep, that's going. So I can leave that going for now. Now let's have a look at what the disc is. Each stack of... Ridiculous. Joy starts combat with stacks of happiness. Yeah, that's easy mad. That's an easy mad move. Let me just kick, tick that off so it stops flashing. So that one is very good with Olaf. So yeah, there we go, guys. I think Joy is a phenomenal character. I've had a little look through and I hope you can get a bit of a better understanding why she's good. She's a phenomenal shield character, buff character and heal character. And I think crossed with Ariel, she's going to be an absolute force to be reckoned with. So of course, trying her out in arena now isn't going to be the world's most helpful thing for you to see what she's like because she's very underpowered. But um, if I just take my boy Duck and Bunny off and we put Joy on, yeah, this, this, is, this is not going to work. <laughs> All of her skills are only level one as well. Um, where is she? <laughs> Here we go, boys. Here we go. I mean, she didn't die straight away. So, I mean, take that for what it is. She didn't die straight away. I'm taking that as a win. So there we go. There's a bit of a breakdown there on who I think everybody should be working on. I love Joy. And what I want to do is start to work on getting a ridiculous arena team together. So it's going to be a new series I'm working on. I'm going to do a character a week. So we've got Joy this week to look at. So I'm going to work on Joy. And then what I saw in most of those teams as well. So again, if we go back to the rankings, so you can always find out what, what best character is that every single one of them 
seem to have Meg in as well. Now, I don't really know the strats with Meg. I understand the concept of her character, but it would be it's curious to see who people choose Meg to link with because on auto, Meg links automatically anyway. But yeah, it, it, it's intriguing to kind of see. But again, we've got Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter. So maybe Mad Hatter should be the next one with RA. AI, there's not like a given with Mad Hatter. RA, Randall, Randall, AI. So, and then what's he got on this one? It's probably going to be RA. RA, yeah. So uh, then uh, people are using Mad Hatter as well. So I guess I guess what I could do is start. I did work on Mad Hatter a while ago, actually. Is start working on some of Mad Hatter's friendship disc. And the main guy was using RA. Um, who's RA? Let's have a look. So that's going to be another good one to work on. AI. Skill power. Charmed enemies attack and movement speed are increased by 40%. Charmed enemies do not gain energy. So that's quite good, actually, because a Mad Hat has got a triple charm, I think, if I remember correctly. It's one of these. Yeah. Mad Hat uses especially sweet tea to charm three enemies in a row. That's ridiculous, actually. And what was his red skill? I like to immune to debuff to the first four seconds of each wave. This has a chance to fail. Ah, uh, yeah, that was what was annoying with that one because it's a very good one because it stops debuff, which means it can stop enemies being hexed by Ursula or um, Mary. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Joy upgraded, then I'm going to get Mad Hatter upgraded. And luckily, I've already worked on Mad Hatter a little bit ages ago. Don't actually remember doing that. But what I'm going to do is chuck him in starting to get that badge upgraded in there as well so i can get that charmed enemy buff as well so there we go a lot of you ask me um what characters i'm working on dom i hope i hope my advice can help for you as well and joy she's the queen of arena guys so work on joy a bit of a deep breakdown on joy there hope you've enjoyed this style of video and um yeah i'll see all you gods in the next one